Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Edgemont. I'm Nana, alone, and Happy New Year, everyone. Um, I just realized I haven't sat down to film a video like in almost two months. That's like crazy. Last time was our birthday weekend, and I'm really excited for this new year, and I have so much good content to bring you all, so please stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be giving my 18 month update in regards to living in Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay, for many of you that have been following the channel, you know that I moved about a year and a half ago to Charlotte, North Carolina from Northern New Jersey. And I literally just watched my last video I put up for um, my one year update. And it was just funny. I was thinking like, oh, like, no, no, you did a good job. You actually did some of the things you said you were going to do. Then I realized there's some areas where I might have fallen a little short. I've been doing a lot of thinking. I've had this feeling for a while. Even I noticed I mentioned it in my last video. Um, but I actually just talked to my mom about it this morning. I've been talking to Nguzi about it, my cousins. And honestly, my friends a couple weeks ago, I really do like living in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I'm so happy that I made the step I did. I took a leap of faith. I tried something new. But like I mentioned in my one-year update, I definitely don't think it's my final destination. I can almost guarantee that. Like, I really don't know if I'm going to renew my lease that's ending in September. I'm just being honest. I really can't say I'm going to renew it. I'm still going to give it um, this summer. I'm going to see how it goes. My cousin is allegedly moving next month. If you know, in the last video, I told you she was moving in December, you know, so ended the day, like I say, allegedly. So um, that should be nice to have someone I'm close with around, but I don't necessarily feel like that would make me stay somewhere that I don't feel as if I see growth opportunities. Does that make sense? Let me know in the comment section if you see where I'm coming from. So basically I've just been doing a lot of thinking and I just realized, you know, with the cost of living going up, my next video is going to be talking about that and rent prices going up in Charlotte, house home prices going up. They are going up in a lot of major cities as well. So let's just be honest. It's just a nationwide thing. But the issue I have with Charlotte is that for my industry nursing, I just don't know if this is the right location for me. I'm a pretty modest person. If I may say so myself, I don't make six figures. I'm not one of these people promoting this type of luxury lifestyle, which nothing is wrong with if you can afford it. I'm pretty like, I spend money, don't get me wrong. I like nice things, but I know how to get more for less. If that like, I just grew up kind of like with like a bargain type of mother, like, you know, like a coupon cutter, like that's like, I know how to stretch my money. Like most people, if I told them my salary now, they probably wouldn't believe it. But they'll probably think I'm lying. Like, cause they'll probably think I make so much more. So with that said, like, you know, I just turned 30 November and just at my current job, you know, I'm looking for another job at the moment. Then that's just not paying me my worth. And it's not, and even when I look at other jobs in the similar industry, it's still not that much of a difference, right? Like I know I should be getting paid more than I'm paying, getting paid now, but a lot of the other jobs, their salaries are nothing crazy as well. And I just need to make more money. Ultimately, that's it. I have some goals. I want to pay off some federal loans. They've been on pause forever, but when I start paying them, I want to be able to put down some down payment on that. And I need to save more. I want to do more international travel. And all of that is just not fitting in with this salary. When, once I add this rent, a car note, and all of those things. So I definitely need to make more. And I don't know if Charlotte, North Carolina has the opportunities for me in nursing. I'm just being honest because I'm not interested in going into management. And, um, yeah, that's basically it. So that's what's been making me think. And then also, besides just the money, because we know money's not everything, because if I really wanted to make a lot of money as a nurse, I would have moved to California off the bat, right? Which we know is the state where nurses make the most money. Um, I do want some warmer weather. Charlotte's actually kind of cold, been getting cold. Like right now, as I'm filming this, it's snowing. And tomorrow's snow. Like I was just like, this is shocking to me. So like, I don't want, I want to be in a climate that's like actually like almost warm all year round like i don't need four seasons i don't need snow i don't need winter i want to not have to have a winter jacket let's put it that way so it just leaves me with not that that many options because to me in my mind it's like if i say i want to be somewhere warmer it's like florida texas and california like those are the three main states that come up into my mind obviously there's many other states but like i'm not moving to alabama you know what I mean? Like I'm not, there's certain states that just don't have any interest in moving to. And a lot of states, they have like similar weather, weather to Charlotte. So I'm not interested in that either. Um, another thing I could say is that I don't know if Charlotte has enough of the so things I want in the social scene. Does that make sense? 
I'm not a big partier. Like, I actually don't complain like a, a lot of other people I know about Charlotte because I don't need to club. Honestly, if I never went to a club again in my life, I'll be fine. Like, I've clubbed in my 20s. I've been there, done that. But when I talk about the social scene, I just mean, like, more spaces that I feel like are a little bit more diverse. You know, like, we've tried, like, these, like, African spots. They're not it. And I always tell my friends, I'm like, we just have to go to regular spots. Like, we can't be looking for necessarily black-owned or Nigerian places because... You know, it's very limited. You just have to be open. Like, one of the spots I really like in Charlotte, I love going to Crave Dessert Bar. Like, I actually stopped by there last night. It was so crowded, so I left. You know, like, um, I did check out Merchant Trade, which I had mentioned in um, the, my one-year update. I really did like it. I've been there, like, two two times. I heard it's really, good, like, good on Thursdays. So I'm going to check it out again. Like, Charlotte does have a lot in Uptown. The issue is that, like, you just have to be okay with maybe not having that much diversity. Like, you know, it just, it is what it is. There's nowhere, like, I could really go and, like, listen to Nigerian music that's, like, a nice place. Not in Charlotte. Like, I mentioned that in another video. It just doesn't have that Nigerian or African scene that some people may be looking for. Like, just going to Atlanta and New Year's Eve, New Year's weekend just realizing like wow like Atlanta like you pass by like Afghanistan restaurants you know like, you will pass by so many like so many different you notice there's just so much culture it's not saying Charlotte doesn't have that because we do have a lot of diversity right there's a lot of people from different places but it might also be because of where I'm living you know obviously I'm not being in the uptown area that's not where you're gonna find more ethnically diverse restaurants or places to go so I still try but yeah, I think some cities just make it a bit easier. You don't have to try as hard. And like I mentioned in the last video, I did start going to church. Um, that's fine. I still haven't like joined like a youth group or um, an e-group. I still need to work on that. Um, I've met some people, but I noticed like a lot of events I go through via the Meetup app, like I'm always the youngest person. Not saying nothing's wrong with being around older people. I don't mind having older friends, but like, you know, I just feel like it's hard for me to find people like in my direct age group. You know, and like even like I mentioned before, you meet people that just or whatever, like they'll take your number. You don't hear that. Like, why'd you ask my number if you're never going to text me? Like, what is the point? You know, like it just it's just weird. Like, and it's different, I think, when you're meeting people that are actually from here because they're they have their base here. Right. They have their family. They have their friends. Like, you know, so maybe that might be a part of it. They don't really need to meet other people, even though they should. They, they probably do want and need more friends or want to connect with more people. They're just used to their small social circle, you know. And then also, too, when you're meeting people that are like transplants like me, quote unquote, you know, they're just they're just passing by. You know, so they may not be as invested in like really trying to meet people like forge relationships because they probably like me, like maybe just here like a couple years and they're ready to go somewhere else or go back to where they came from. So it's like they already have their friends too from wherever they are, most likely, you know? So that might be part of it. But yeah, it's been better. I've met a few more people. I can't complain, definitely. Like I said, I only need a two, like I said, I have like maybe like three people I would call like friends and I feel like that's enough for me. But it's just not necessarily just about having friends, but you want to like also have friends that do stuff you know what i mean or people that plan stuff or people you could do things with i still feel like i have a lot of exploring to do like i mentioned in the last video like i do want to check out like a lot more black owned places that are on my list I have a list of places in general like bro broken down by like restaurant brunch black owned like you know the seventh restaurant i passed by it the other day i'm like oh that's the black owned restaurant i've heard about um yeah, so like I mentioned before, 1501 South Mint, that's another black owned establishment, which probably is the best one I've been to in Charlotte. Like they have like a membership fee you pay every year. And then when you go in there, you don't pay any cover or anything like that. But like in the summertime, it's just really chill. You're outside, you know, everyone's just hanging out, having a good time. So I think it's a nice spot. I mentioned Crave, I like Crave. Merchant Trade is cool. Um, there's, there's so many other places I've yet to even try. I've been to Aura, we've tried, been to New Bowling, like I mentioned. Um, Aura's in JW Marriott Hotel. That's, that's something that kind of recently opened up. Um, what else? What else is, I do want to try like the Grand Bohemian. I want to go there. Um, we put up a reel, we went to the King's Kitchen. So there's, I still feel like uptown. I've been, you know, I've been to a few places, but I definitely want to, I think I can do more right I, you can always do more and i want to kind of do more activities not just food i gravitate away from food but that seems like the easiest and the most convenient thing to do but actually like activities like you know like 
axe throwing. <laughs> ah, stop, I'm trying to be funny. Um, there's like these golf places that are coming up, like miniature golf spots. I wouldn't mind going to those. Um, also, I want to explore more within North Carolina. Like, you know, like people, I have a friend who came like all the way from New York to go to the Outer Banks. So I'm like, wow, I'm in North Carolina. I haven't been to the Outer Banks. Granted, it's six hours away from Charlotte, but like, you know, it's still North Carolina. Like it's still drivable. So I definitely want to do activities like that. I want to spend some time in Asheville. Um, I still, I've never been to Myrtle Beach, you know, in my adulthood. I heard it's getting a bit sketchy, but you know, like just try out some areas around Charlotte, like drivable areas. Cause it's just, you, you don't always want to have to get on a plane because you want to get away. First stop is exhausting once you have to get on a flight, airport, and then it's money. You know, we, we have financial goals this year, like I said. Yeah, also I think why I don't mind to leave is, um, I feel like two years is a good enough time to give anything a chance, whether it's a job, um, whether it's a city, you know, whether it's, I don't know, like, and I didn't move during the pandemic, so I have to give it some grace, right? Like I moved at a very, very strange time. So I do understand that that also could have implicated a lot of things because like, you know, I heard like there was this like place that used to play African music at Uptown called Sage. It's closed down. You know what I mean? Like so many establishments that used to be around that maybe I would have vibe with, I would have liked their no, some of them are not operating anymore. They couldn't make it through the pandemic, you know? So I have to be considerate of that, that like things are just different. And sometimes you want to go out, you're a bit nervous. And now, you know, we have the variant, everyone's getting sick, you know? So it's just... It just makes you a little bit more cautious, like, should I go out or no? Should I stay home? You know, so the reality is that no matter where you go, I say it all the time. You can go to my previous videos. If you sit in your house, if you sit in your house, you are not going to meet people. I don't care. Go to Miami, sit in your house. I don't care. Go to LA, sit in your house. Go to Houston and sit in your house. You're going to be complaining. So I think that's the biggest fact thing I notice about people around my age you know, it's just that like a lot of people are just, first off, they don't want to go out alone, which is something I really believe you need to overcome. You know, if you really want to live your best life and live your life to your fullest potential, I get it, right? I'm not going to go clubbing by myself. Like there's certain environments I would not go to by myself. But if you wait on people, if you sit around waiting on people to do things you want to do, I just booked a trip to Miami by myself. Yeah, if someone wanted to come along, that would be fine. But like, I want to go to, I need, I need heat. I didn't get to go to do Dirty December like everybody else. I didn't get to make, I didn't make it to Africa. I got denied my vacation because I didn't have the time, even though I was ready to take leave without pay. That's another discussion. You know, so I want, I'm not going to wait around for when someone wants to go with me. I'm not going to wait around for people like, no, like you can't, I get it, you know. I wouldn't necessarily go to certain places alone, right? You still have to be smart. Like, you know, I think traveling alone within America is different from like leaving the country, right? You know, so you just, I know it's hard, especially for my ladies out there. You know, you're thinking about safety, which is very important. I'm not gonna minimize it, but if you cannot go to the gym without someone, that's a problem. If you cannot go and get food and sit outside by yourself, that's a problem. If you can't go to the movies without someone, that's a problem. If you can't go to the mall without someone, that's a problem. Like, if you need someone to do everything with you, I'm sorry. That's not the type of life I want to live. Like, I'm telling you, because if I had that personality, I would have been in depression. First of all, I wouldn't probably have even moved here. To be honest, there's so many things I've done by myself because I can't wait on people and people are just weird. Like, not everyone likes what you like. People go out, they, they start frowning in 30 minutes, they want to leave. You know, like, everyone's personality is different. Sometimes you have the most fun and meet the most people when you do things alone, you know? So that's something I want to start doing more of. Um, yeah, so that's something that definitely will tell people that like stop always sometimes focusing on location. My location is great, but I think the most important thing is knowing people in that location and are you ready to get out of your house in that location? I think those are the two biggest factors, especially with these the new wave of work from home people. Like if you're working from home, how in the world are you meeting people? Like, honestly, I could say what has saved me is the fact that I go to work Monday through Friday. I'm constantly around people. I meet people even at work. I have my coworkers. We socialize. We talk. We exchange ideas. So I understand why some people really don't want to work from home. Like, I get it now. Like, I don't think I, I don't want a fully re remote job. I would like the option to be flexible, but I need, I want to wear my clothes. Where am I going to wear all my clothes to? 
Like, I want to be around people once. Like, I'm a people person. You could probably tell by this video. Like, I don't mind. I can engage. I like conversation. Like, I like to meet people. Like, I wouldn't want to be in, be at home to remote Monday through Friday. Nah, that's how... Mm -mm. I wouldn't want that. I mean, I would do it. I'd rather do it than go to work every day Monday through Friday. Like, I would try it. But I understand why some people don't like it because... Especially during these times where you can't necessarily go out as much in, on your weekends and whatnot. You know, going to work. When I go to work, I already feel like I socialize. You know, like I know people might think I'm crazy because some people go to work. And from work, they go. I have never, since I've been living in Charlotte, gone to work. And then after gone to like a social event. Like, you know, people like, you know, you watch these shows or whatever. I used to do it in Jersey sometimes. Like we go like to happy hour after work. I've never done that here. I've never. I'm not opposed to it, you know. I was thinking like a Thursdays or Friday. I really need to start. No, I have. I'm lying. I got. I did it one day Friday, like a month or plus ago. I was there. I went to Crave on a Friday after work. It opened at five. I was there like at five, and I left like within like an hour and a half. So it was so empty. I liked it that way. But then it's bad because then how are you gonna meet people? So I guess you gotta find that balance. Like last night, I went there at nine, and it was packed. So I guess a good time to go would be like seven or something like that, six thirty, because. You know, I just get so... I've always been the type of person that didn't like crowds, even before everything that's going on. So now, these crowds make me sick. And then also, I think I want to start... Like I mentioned in my last video, I do want to start going out on weekdays. I know it's hard with work sometimes, but like a Thursday or like a Wednesday. You know, that's fun. So yeah, I'm just waiting for this winter weather to disappear because I don't know what's going on. So um, yeah, I probably won't start going out a lot until like, again, really probably to March, April just for now maybe just here and there just focus on you know finding a new job and doing all those type of things but ultimately i think that's basically everything in reference to my update living in charlotte for one and a half years oh my goodness time flies whatever you want to do i tell my tell you all just do it like honestly just do it yes again be practical okay Make sure you understand what you're doing. Make sure you really want to do it. You're not doing it because of social media. You're not doing it because your friend is doing it. You're not doing it because your cousin or your sister is doing it. Yeah, make sure it's for you. But honestly, live your life because time flies. And you're going to look back and only regret that you didn't do things sooner. Especially if you do those things and you're happy that you did those things. So yeah, what I so quickly, um, I do feel like if I was to leave Charlotte, I definitely feel like it would be Texas. Of those three places I mentioned, I said Florida, Texas, or Cali. Um, I think it would be Texas. I just, I, I don't know where in Texas. Like, I'm not really that crazy about Houston, to be honest. It doesn't really seem like my vibe. I've heard a lot of better things about Dallas. So that might be an option. Let me know in the description box. Uh, what would you, what, what have y'all heard is better, Houston or Dallas? You know, and like, why? I, that would be interesting. I really want to re I'll reply all y'all comments. I really want to know, like, if you were to move right now, where would you move, Houston or Dallas? Do you think they're comparable? I just hear that Dallas is more expensive, but I hear, like, there's a lot more professionals. Um, I hear Houston is more affordable, but the crowd is just a bit, I don't know the word to use, just different. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, bye.